let me tell you a story about a little girl named Vani. She was three years old when she started going to school. Her parents were just thrilled with the idea of Vani returning from school with countless stories. Every afternoon, her mother would ask her, So, Vani, how was your day, sweetheart? Good, Mama. Just good? Tell me more, Vani. But Vani struggled with words. She struggled to express. She struggled to sequence all the events of the day. Few years passed by. Vani was six now. She loved going to school. But she was still finding her way with words. One evening, Vani and her best friend Ananya were playing in the park. They noticed a group of children gathered around a woman who had recently shifted to their society. One by one, the children sat around the woman while she continued to talk to them. Ananya was definitely curious, but Vani was indifferent. She didn't bother to find the reason of such a gathering. A week later, while they were playing their favorite game hopscotch, Ananya couldn't resist. She insisted Vani to join the group. Now Vani was hesitant, but Ananya was adamant. So she somehow convinced Vani to join the group. And they quickly made their way right in the center of the group. They sat on the soft green grass while the woman crossed her legs and settled on the bench. The woman's warm smile instantly made Vani feel comfortable. The children were just so thrilled and excited to know what were they going to explore that evening. Where were they going to travel? Is the woman going to make them laugh today? Surprise them? Solve a mystery? Or were they going to learn the values of strength, courage, victory, unity or kindness? It was an unbelievable sight to see the children so engrossed listening to the woman. Now you must be wondering what exactly was the woman doing? Well, she was giving children the power of imagination. The power to experience and live different lives. The power to explore and express a variety of emotions. The power to experience a jungle full of animals. The sea world the palaces, the kingdoms, to experience new places and to learn about different cultures around the world. Every day she took the children on a journey, encountered problems and together with the children found solutions to them. She valued her time with them and listen to them as they came out with the most creative thoughts. The children were discovering the power of stories. Nawani returned from school with not just an empty, feeble, good mama, but with endless stories of friendship, laughter, winning, losing, happy and sad stories. The storyteller in that woman acquainted Vani with stories that gave expression to her many thoughts and feelings. She helped Vani to explore her unique expressiveness through the power of stories.